Okay, so here we are. So you can see on the right, I've got all the forex pairs that I like to trade. We're going to go through all of them in a moment. Firstly, I'm just going to show you, share with you my simple strategy. So we've got support resistance zones. That's what I, first thing I like to do. I like to go to a chart, find clear support resistance zones where prices had a clear bounce in the past. Not where it's like this, but where it's had like clear reaction. Yeah at least two times. The second thing is when price gets there, let's say it's uptrending and it gets to here. Well, it's got to a zone, but that's not good enough for me to just directly enter a sale because it's still in an uptrend. So from here, I'm then looking to see, okay, does it start to make some lower lows, lower highs? And then when it does that, at this point, when it when it makes it, when the downtrend begins, that's when I go in and gamble and I'll go in for a, a short. If this doesn't happen and it continues to go up and it sort of doesn't quite ignore the, you know, doesn't really respect the zone that much. Well, if it continues to make higher highs, higher lows, then I just simply wait for it to come out of the zone and break it. I need the candle to close outside the zone, then it will go up again. Okay, so that's it in a nutshell. Uh, let's go through all the charts. You've got UJ at the moment on the daily chart. It's sort of in an uptrend. You know, you could argue there's a mini zone here on the daily. So if price comes back, pulls back and tests this, I'll be doing what I said and I'll be looking for structure and see if it starts making some new highs. USDCHF, same thing's happening here. It's been in an uptrend for about a week now. I've got an alert set to see if it pulls back and goes up. USDCAD, same sort of thing. It's dropping down at the moment, reacting off this zone. Start this mini downtrend for just half a week now. So we've got this alert set. I don't really see anything happening at the moment. GU, uh, nothing too clear to be honest at the moment. Like it's had this big sell down up respecting this zone but it's come back to this zone again quite quickly so I wouldn't be wanting to enter shorts right now. EURUSD, nothing too much is really going on. AUD USD, so here this is actually a trade I took earlier in the week, called out in Sam's Effect Society actually and, and on Telegram. Uh, by the way I share all my analysis in Telegram every single day so follow my Telegram links in the description. Uh, this was a trade we took in AU and simply break and retest like price was in this downtrend from uh, the end of January, it's now the 8th of February right now. When we took it, it was the uh, 7th of February. Sorry, today's the 9th, and when we took it, it was the 7th. So anyway, it went down, broke this clear zone in the past, retested it. As it started to sell off, I took a sell, and it won very quickly. So well done for those of you that took it. Euro New Zealand dollar, nothing here. Euro JPY, nothing here really. It's sort of not really making its mind of what way it wants to go. It looks like it sort of wants to go up, but it's also had this downtrend, sort of middle of January to the end. Euro GBP. Again, nothing too, like, there's not a clear trend at the moment. It's been ranging for a bit, so I'd probably ignore that. Euro CHF, nothing too clear right now. Euro CAD, it's come down on this downtrend. It's sort of stalling at this zone. So this would be a good one to try and find some shorts. But I wouldn't want to be shorting from here into this zone because it's been struggling to break this zone and, and make new lows. I'd like to see it break and then do something like that. Euro AUD, nothing here. You could draw a zone here for sure on the H4. And some of you just like to short off a zone, in which case this is a trade. But for me, I probably want to see a bit more structure change. So maybe here, if it goes down, fails to make a new high, makes a new low, then I'll be loving to short that. Okay, GM. Nothing too obvious here. It's been ranging for quite a while. It's been in the mini downtrend, but again, so that wouldn't be something I would want to buy. I would want to be looking for something like this. GJ. Uh, it's been in this mini uptrend now since last week. Nothing too obvious is going on for my liking. You'd maybe want to look at something like that, but it's tried a lot to break these highs in the last six, uh, five months or so, and it's not doing that. UVCHF, so I don't really have much marked up on here on this current time frame uh, where price is right now. You could argue this is a zone, in which case you'd just be looking for either this makes it fails to make a new high and it starts making some downtrend structure, or the opposite, like we've been through before, it breaks and carries on with this little uptrend. GPP CAD, not much I really see here other than this downtrend. You could try and look in the way to get in shorts, but there's no real clear zone to do that yet. GA, again, nothing too obvious. This is a semi solid zone, it's on the H4. Uh, if it starts to come here, go deeper, and starts to show bullish pressure, well, it isn't an uptrend, so that's something I'd probably look to sell, uh, to buy rather. And I've got it tagged red just to keep an eye on it. Let's go to the daily for this CAD JPY. That's a nice strong zone, but it's really not showing any bearish pressure yet, so we're going to see how this one starts to play out. In fact, CAD JPY, I'll tag as red just so I know what's going on. CAD CHF, we took shorts on this yesterday. Uh, it's not really gone to plan so far. The reason I took shorts is because it's come to a fairly strong daily level, and 
it started to sell off. I didn't wait on this one for a particular trend structure. I was expecting the uptrend to continue or, or you know, thought it was likely. I was just thinking, my idea was that it's, it's starting to make a lower high. Can it make this lower high down here? Because the previous lower high was this point here. So there's still a way for it to go, but it's looking now it's still starting to make a higher higher. It's trying to. So we'll have to see what happens. Uh, it looks more unlikely now at this time. NU, nothing really solid that I see here. Maybe like this zone, you could. I've got an alert set if the price comes down here, but other than that, I'll leave it alone for now. NJ, so price has come up to this daily level. It's looking like it wants to break. I'm going to set an alert above. So if it does break, I'm going to get. I'm going to know about it, and then I'll set another alert for it to come back down, and then I'll start looking for buys. That's what I like to do. Using the CHF, nothing happened here. In fact, we were so close on Monday on the live call to shorting it here. So I'll show you. So on the live call on Monday, price came here. I was like, this is looking good. Barely made a higher high. This That candle at one point was that red. And I was like, well, this looks like it's definitely going to sell off. Then it closed like this. And we we all questioned it. We were like, well, it's not completely convincing. Again, the next candle looked like it was really selling off. Then it closed, uh, you know, not very bearish. So I was very close to entering a short. So close to calling it out. And I decided against it. And then in the end, it's good because it just shot up. And that's why I really emphasize like waiting for the candle closure because a lot of the time, even with like 15 minutes to go on like an H4 candle, it's giving the signal that are oh, like here, like it's super bearish and then you, you watch it close and in fact it's not. And, and you know, and that, that dictates a lot of people and what, what they decide to trade and you want to be sticking with the overall trend and like, you know, what the majority of people are thinking. And if you wait to the end and the closure of the candle, in my opinion, from my experience, is I've been a lot more profitable doing it like that. Okay, New Zealand dollar CAD, well it's in this nice downtrend we can see, but there's no super solid zones yet. You can maybe look at this as a zone, but it's a bit thick and you know, it's hard to really spot a good entry from it. And also it's been in this mini uptrend, so you'll be taking it like a, in a higher high type situation. So I probably typically ignore this for now. AUD New Zealand dollar, nothing really that looks good to me. We'll check the daily. There's this zone where if price gets to it, it'll be a second sort of interaction with and then we'll, we'll watch, but it's nothing that I'll be like ready to enter straight away. AUD JPY, it's in this nice uptrend, trying to maybe spot a way to get in, but to be honest, there's no clear obvious zones, it's looking a bit choppy. AUD CHF, so it's been in this overall downtrend and then for about a week, it's been in an uptrend. Um, I've just got my alert here and if that gets triggered, then I'll tag it and I'll be watching to see what structure does at the zone. AUD CAD is in this lovely clear downtrend, so this would be a great one to try and look to get in. I'm going to draw a zone here, I'm going to set alert here. In fact, it's pretty much got there, so I'm going to be watching it too. I'll tag it red, but this is a good one. So these are the sort of setups I look for, like super clear, like just higher lows, uh, you know, downtrend here, so lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows. And if, if that, that structure starts to like look a bit messy, well, I just ignore it. Like you still might be right every now and then, but I just ignore it and I look for a cleaner setup. Trading like this on average, I get around one to three trades per week. That's typically what I get. Okay, last one, the CHFJPY. It's been an uptrend for a long old time here. So this is one definitely worth watching. I find it hard to really draw up clean zones on this chart because it seems to always be a bit choppy on the lower time frames. But you could probably do something like this, like this is a real thick zone, but it's more realistic. Like you don't want to ignore this, just ignore this area just so you draw a better zone. You want to probably include that. So this is definitely something worth watching. This is also the upper uh, level of, of price here is worth watching. So you might want something like this. This might be a more realistic uh, opinion. Anyway, so I'm going to set some alerts here and if they trigger, you'll know about that in Telegram. Last one, gold. Check the daily. Honestly, I never really trade gold. I've got it marked up, but I don't really ever look at it. Uh, this is Goldman Sachs 2024 prediction. So we're in 2024 now. It hit there at December and just reacted massively. I think I might be right that this was perhaps an all time high. Yeah, it looks like it probably was. Um, so, yeah, I'm just watching gold. It's ranging a bit. Not a lot's really happening. If it drops down here, I'd probably consider buying. But we'd have to see how price got there. If it went straight down and was pausing. But if it was, you know, proper downtrending structure to there, then, then it'd be less likely I'd take a buy. All right, so there we go. So that's pretty much how I do my analysis in about, you know, 10 to 15 minutes or less. And I hope you found that useful. Uh, and I hope you realize how simple 
it actually can be like I'm just waiting for price to get to clear zones then when it gets there I'm watching what the what the structure is doing when it gets there is it continuing through the zone or is it reacting at the zone typically with this you, you typically get slightly worse entries because you give price a bit of time to show you what it's what it's thinking of doing but then with this I found my win rate is higher I take less trades like I avoid more losers because I'm the idea in my head that I think might happen I'm waiting until that starts to happen before I take the trade I don't just enter and be like this might happen I wait till it begins to happen, there's proof it's happening, then I enter. So I hope you found this useful. Uh, my free telegram is below if you want to get involved and see my analysis every single day. And cheers, see you next time.